Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars. I'm looking at the beautiful morning sunlight here. Pretty cool, huh? And um, a while back I wrote about killing cults, like the Charles Manson cult, those kinds. And I had quite a few observations regarding that from the Claire stories and the Claire chatter. And I just wanted to add to that that it seems to me that the, like the root cause of killing cults is that the people, their soul wounding is such that they're all caught together in their lower mental bodies in a kind of a subconscious neosphere, uh, mini neosphere. So the, the actions that they undertake are from the deep subconscious minds of all of them. And so the clear chatter that you hear from a killing cult uh, will always have unconscious mind um, qualities, such as the, the, um, the idea that there is no ego involved. For instance, there may be egos in the group, the leader ego, for instance, uh, and his second-in-command alter ego, um, specifically. And then there are all the women. And so, say three, three major ego categories. But several people may switch back and forth uh, on the Claire stories, acting the role of the leader. And the same goes for the alter ego leader, the second in command. That might be a wider group of men in the group. Um, then, amongst the women, you'll find that all the women are treated interchangeably and are spoken of on the astral plane as being the wife of the leader. So these are subconscious like ways of, lo of looking at things. They're actually pre-egoic in a way. They're, they're prior to the social notion of human beings having rights, separate rights. Um, further, in the acting out of a killing cult, uh, you'll find scenarios uh, born of the agglomerated uh, subconscious mind of all the people involved. So, so you can expect that the behavior of a killing cult during this transitional period, this awakening, uh, will reflect uh, on the astral stories first, and then later, if not checked, in the physical plane, uh, the very deepest uh, subconscious soul wounding, uh, such as killing scenarios or raping scenarios or um, scenarios of physical disfigurement, something uh, that has to do with this threats to life itself and, and notions that other people don't have uh, a soul or don't have uh, rights or don't have uh, individuality. These will be undertaken by the total of the cult either against outsiders or if no outsiders are available against uh, the perceived more inferior members of the cult itself. So watch out for that. Try and stay clear of those sorts of um, very deep subconscious gloms and that will ensure your continuing phys physical pre presence in the duality play. I should have said help to ensure because uh, the, the timelines are such that when, when we optimize our timelines, there's always a time when it's appropriate to exit the duality play. And, and this has to do with the next incarnation and the, and the continuing saga of the multi-dimensional and multi-temporal soul. So, uh, so there you have it. Uh, there's a time. There's a timeline and a time and an optimum time for each person to exit the grounded state and move on to the very next thing in the soul's, uh, in the soul's journey.